All right, guys, so this is the third and final video here, and uh, this is going over another free response that you'll see. And so I want to go ahead and go through this with you all. Um, so um, this is asking for parametric equations, and so we need to remember our parametric equation is in the x direction, I have my velocity in the x, so my movement in the x times t plus the x initial. And pretty much the same thing for y, but now I'm dealing just with the y. So how far am I moving up and down? And what is where did I start? Okay, and so here they tell me that Drew and Christy are jogging in the park. Okay, he starts uh, at the origin. So this is Drew. First we're dealing with Drew. And he runs at a constant speed in a straight line and passes through 9, 5. So that puts me at 1, 2, right here. Okay, so... He started over here at 0, 0, and he ended at 9, 5. So this is the path that I moved in. Okay. Oops. So, um, first thing is asking me to make parametric equations for Drew. So these are my equations up here. So I need my Vx, which is how far I moved this way in the x direction. So uh, in the x direction, I move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 to get to this point. Okay, so Vx is 9, and my x initial is where did I start in the x? This is the x, this is the y, so the x I started at 0. And we're going to do the same for the y. Oops. So Vy is how far up did I move from my original point? So I moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up in the y direction, and again here I did start at 0, 0. So my y, my initial y is also 0. Okay, So my x equation, okay, following this, vx, I already know vx is 9, so 9t plus x initial plus x initial, which is 0, so I don't have to put it. I mean, if you want, you could, but it's just plus 0, uh, which I'm just going to write it like this, guys, 9t. I'm not going to put the plus 0, okay? And for the yt, It is 5t, again, plus 0, but I'm not going to write the plus 0 part. So uh, part B is now to ask me to find the parametric equations for Christie. So if I keep reading, starting right here, it tells me Christie started at the point 3, 3. So 3, and then 1, 2, 3. And she runs at a constant speed and reaches 8, 3. So 8, 1, 2, 3. So she's running straight line like this. Oops, sorry. So starting at 3, 3, and she ends up at 8, 3. Okay, so uh, we're going to do the same thing. Find the equations for Christie. So Vx and x initial and Vy, y initial. So I'm going to start with the initials because here, guys, I started at 3, 3. So this is easy. The X and the Y are the same. So 3 and 3. So in the X direction, I saw her move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the X direction. And, well, 0 in the Y direction because, look, she's not moving up or down. So my VY is 0. So my x of t equation is vx, which I know is 5, times t plus 3. My y equation is v, vy, which is 0t plus 3, which is just equal to 3, okay? Because I don't when I multiply 0 and t, it's going to be 0 no matter what it is. So if I move over, uh, at what time do the joggers have the same vertical location, the y, they say here? So... As what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these two equal to each other. So 5t is equal to 3, and I'm going to solve for t. So at t is equal to 3 fifths, uh, that is when they are at the same y location. So if I read further on, use your answer for t found in part c to determine if Drew and Christie will collide, okay? So here, I know the time that they're at the same y direction. So what I'm going to tell now, are they in the same x direction? So I know the time. 
So I'm going to take the x equation from the first person, 9t. So this is for Drew. My x equation is 9t. Now I'm going to plug in the t that I found here. So this is 9 times 3 over 5, which when I simplify it is 9 times 3 is 27 over 8. Okay, so this is the x position at 3 fifths time. Okay, now if it's the same as Christie's x position, that means they're going to hit each other. If not, then that means they don't. So here, the x of t equation is 5t plus 3, which is 5 times 3 fifths plus 3, which here I can see that the 5s cancel, 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6. Okay, so uh, clearly, guys, 27 over 8, which is like 3 point something, and 6 are not the same. So uh, do they hit each other? Do they collide? No, they do not collide. Because they do not have the same x position and y position at the same time. Okay, so uh, again guys, this is a, I wanted to make its own video because it's kind of a, a difficult question. It's really the hardest one you see on the exam. So uh, look through this one, go through it guys, and study hard.